Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging system of equations. Equations are root x over y plus y over root x equal to 5 over 2 and x minus y square is equal to 27. We have to find out real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Root x is there so x must be positive for real solutions. Now right hand side is positive, root x is already positive, so y must be positive also. So let me write here y should be greater than 0. Now I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. So let me begin with writing method number 1. And this method I will use substitution square root x over y equal to t. Then I can write y over root x equal to 1 by t. So our first equation will become, I will write t plus 1 over t equal to 5 over 2. Let's take LCM. So t square minus 5 by 2t plus 1 equal to 0. Multiply with 2. So 2t square minus 5t plus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply Shidrachar formula. So t will be equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so 4. Now 25 minus 16 is 9. Square root 9 is 3. So 5 plus minus 3 divided by 4. 5 plus 3 over 4, 2, 8 over 4, 5 minus 3, it is 2 over 4, so half. And remember what is our t, t is substitution, it is square root x over y. So I will write t is equal to square root x over y equal to 2 and 1 over 2. Now I will frame again two system of equation with these two equations. Let me write. So I will be writing x minus y square equal to 27. Where I will write the second equation root x over y equal to 2. This is first system. And second system x minus y square equal to 27. Root x over y equal to half. The second t value. Now let's solve. 1 by 1 both the system of equations. Let me call this is system of equation 1. This is system of equation 2. Now from first system of equation I will write root x is equal to 2y. Now I can put over there 2y and then I can solve that quadratic equation or I can write from here y is equal to root x over 2. So let me put y is equal to root x over 2 in the very first equation. So I will write x minus y square equal to 27. x minus y square will be x over 4 equal to 27. Now after taking LCM it will become 3x over 4 equal to 27. So x will be equal to 4 times 27 over 3. So I will be writing 9 times 4, so 36. Once x is 36, I will calculate y from second equation. So I will write root x over y equal to 2. Now root 36 over y equal to 2. 6 over y equal to 2. So y will be equal to 3. So our solution set will become x comma y belongs to 36 or equal to 36 comma 2. This is our first solution set. Let us check how many are still solutions left. So now second equation I will consider the same way I will be writing y equal to 2 root x and this value I will substitute in the first equation. 
so x minus y square so 4x equal to 27 minus 3x equal to 27 x will be equal to minus 9 and this solution we will reject as we are calculating real solutions so only one solution is there it is x comma y equal to 36 comma 3 both values are positive you can check by its domain also now let us consider method number 2 so i will write method number 2 here i will use substitution square root x equal to a so i can consider as x is positive so a must be always positive now i will put this value as per our equation 1 so i will be writing equation 1 as a over y let me write a over y plus y over a equal to 5 over 2 now second equation if you will see but before that we can take the lcm a square plus y square over a y equal to 5 over 2 or we can write a square plus y square equal to 5 a y over 2 now second equation is a square let's put over here so if root x is equal to a then x will be equal to a square minus y square equal to 27 this is our second equation now these two equations are known we have to find out a and y first now i will use one identity it is a square plus y square whole square equal to a square minus y square whole square then i will be writing 4a square y square you can check minus 2a square y square plus 4a square y square so it will become plus 2a square y square now let's put both the values in this identity so i will write once again it is a square plus y square whole square equal to a square minus y square whole square and then plus 4a square y square let's put over here 5 over 2 a y whole square the value of a square plus y square right hand side this is 27 whole square plus 4 a square y square so it can be written as 25 a square y square over 4 and right hand side it is 729 plus 4 a square y square take a square y square term to the left so 25 a square y square over 4 minus 4 a square y square equal to 729 or 27 square now i will be writing after taking lcm it would be 25 minus 16 so 9 a square y square over 4 equal to 27 square or 729 both are same consider square root both sides so we can write 3 over 2 a y equal to plus minus 27 or a y is equal to plus minus 18 2 times 27 54 over 3 18 now you can see if i will consider a value let me consider in the next slide so that was root x is equal to a for real solution x is positive always so root of positive number it would be always positive so a is positive a is positive y is also positive so right hand side cannot be negative so conclusion is i will only accept a y is equal to plus 18 minus would be rejected as both a and y positive one side is positive second side cannot be negative 18 so accepted value a y is equal to 18 now i will frame 
this equation system a square minus y square equal to 27 and second equation I will write a y equal to 18. Now I will do the same job. I will calculate y equal to 18 over a and I will substitute over here. So I can write a square minus 18 over a whole square equal to 27. After taking LCM, we will be having a power 4 minus 27a square minus 324, it is 18 square equal to 0. Now I can use factorization method a power 4 and factors of 324 is 36 times 9. So I can write minus 36a square plus 9a square minus 324 equal to 0. Let's take a square common. a square minus 36 and then we will take 9 common. a square minus 36 equal to 0. So a square plus 9 and a square minus 36 equal to 0. So a square is equal to minus 9 which we will reject a square cannot be negative for real solution and second value a square is equal to 36 from here we can write a is equal to plus and minus 6 now a is always positive as per our substitution a square root x was a it is always positive so we will reject minus sign here so a equal to 6 is only accepted value so once a is equal to 6, so I will be writing square root x is equal to 6, squaring both sides, x is equal to 36. Once x is 36, I will find out y value from the second equation. So I will put y in this equation. y would be 18 over a. And a is 6, so 18 over 6, 3. So our ultimate solution becomes x comma y. This would be 36 comma 3. Only real solution. Now let's verify. So I will be writing here verification. x comma y 36 comma 3. Let's put over there in equation 1. So I will write root 36, so 6 over 3 plus 3 over 6, is this 5 over 2? So let's check 3 times 2, so it would be 2 plus 1 over 2. So yes, it is coming out 5 over 2, that means first equation it is true, now come to the second equation, I will be writing x minus y square, it should be 27, LHS 36 minus 3 square. So, which will be equal to 36 minus 9, so 27. That means this is true and verified solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care.